I like it. Picasso. Welcome back to the channel, guys. My name is Thomas with TMWYT, back again in the home garage. We used to have a couple of crappy Volkswagens. We got Andrews, Mark 6 GTI. The flares look familiar. We got Jordan working on the Mark 7, and we have my sad Mark 6 Golf R here. But not for long, because we are finally getting started on the wide body. Hopefully, we can start doing some of the install, but for now, we just need to get some of the prep work done because we are going to be reverse mounting it. Uh, and so we need to be able to access the hardware from the interior. So today we are going to be tearing out most of the interior. We're also going to be unfortunately saying goodbye to my dream wheels, my Revolve subject number 86 that I had done for the fender flares. Wheels also fit perfectly for the kit, so I'll leave those specs down in the description if you plan on getting that kit. These wheels will fit perfectly. I'd probably recommend going up to a 19 though, um, or you could just copy the specs and have a meteor tire um, and not as tight fitment. But um, you might ask, if the wheels already fit perfectly on the car, why are you getting rid of them? Well, because I wanna be stupid and run stupid wide. Stupid wide wheels, what do, you, what do you have to say about that? Stupid wide wheels. Stupid wide wheels. So, once we get the kit all mounted, we can uh, I can connect with Revolve and get the wheels made. Uh, but yeah, let's just kind of give you guys an update on the car. So, the wheels are being sold, and who do you think they're being sold to? Oh no. Guys, this is an 18 by 11, negative 12, sitting on a stock body Mark 7 GTI with negative 12 degrees of camber. Pulled out the Godspeed camber arms. So yeah, I'm gonna be running these stock Mark 7 wheels while I'm working on the car since I don't need them. And uh, many of you may know, these are my dream wheels. They're my favorite spec, everything I ever wanted, but I need bigger wheels. I need to be crazier on the kit for next year. So that is why I'm passing them on to Jordan, who I think is gonna make great use of them. We'll do a full video here soon once we get Jordan's fitment all dialed in and show you guys everything we did to be able to achieve running my wide body wheels on a stock body Mark 7 GTI. And so if you guys want to replicate that, because I know I have some Mark 7 followers as well. Um, just don't, just don't wreck, replicate it. That's super exciting. Jordan's getting the wheels, passing along my dream wheels to Jordan, somebody I know who's gonna take care of them and they're gonna look sick on his car. And so in the meantime, while I wait, to get the kit fitted and uh, wait for the new revolve wheels to be built. Shouts out to Josh, you guys have seen him a couple times on the channel. These are his winter wheels, uh, Mark 7.5 Golf R wheels in 19s. Look at likewise with the lug likewise nuts. lug nuts. So yeah, we're gonna be rolling around on those. Also, you'll notice the flares are gone. And this is first time Andrew's been on the channel, but he just moved here from California. We've been friends for a long time on Instagram. He decided to buy the winter setup, so the Revolve uh, cast wheels in the 10 and a halfs, and just take my flares over. Let's get back to my car. So the flares are gone, wheels are gone, lug nuts are staying. We need to pull the box off and throw that down with the rest of the parts that I've been hoarding in my basement. So basically, I'm just trying to get everything out of the way so I can just work on everything. And we'll come around back here. The sub, unfortunately, has been sold with my custom fiberglass sub box. Um, because I want to move to a different, I'm selling all of my sound system, head unit, amps, everything's going. So the sub, amp, and box have been sold. And then I just have the, all the door speakers are blown. So those are just getting thrown away, sadly. Um, but this amp will be for sale as well as the head unit. And today we are going to be ripping out the rear seats. Uh, basically the interior trim pieces here because that's the inside of here. So we need to be able to access these panels right here to be able to reverse mount the um, kit, the wide body kit. So we're gonna remove all this trim, get that out of the way. As you can see, we already have the door cards pulled as well. Uh, pretty simple stuff, just a couple of screws and then you just pull the clips out and uh, then you have no more door cards because we're also gonna be doing custom door cards. So tons of custom work on the car. It's gonna be down for a long time. It's gonna be super sick when it's all done. So I think that pretty much covers it. Oh, the OEM side skirts have also been sold. The bumper and the lip are down in the basement because I haven't needed those on. And it's been sitting on a trickle charger here for quite a while now. Also, the bags are being sold to Andrews. But yeah, Andrews getting the bags. 
Andrew's getting my bag set up, so the bags will be staying here until he gets those, but those are leaving as well. And he's gonna let me roll around on his BC coilovers um, while I'm kind of just working on the car. Uh, I know, it's basically like I'm doing a full part out and starting over, but sometimes, you know, to achieve the vision that you want, you just gotta start from scratch. And so I'm just getting rid of everything I don't need. I'm also trying to find a home for these taillights because I want sequentials and I think I want um, smoked. So, yeah, but we'll get to that. Um, yes, yeah, so the bags are gonna be gone. So probably to start off right now, we're gonna remove the amp rack and I'm just gonna speed through, get everything removed off this. Um, yeah, it'll be fun, let's do it. All right guys, not sure if the GoPro caught any of that, but here we have my mess of wiring. Don't worry, it disconnected the battery. Um, basically, I'm gonna remove or try to bundle up all the sound wires and get them tucked out of the way because, oh, this side's gonna be even worse. Oh, God. I don't know if I can get to the walls of the fenders. You Look. Can. See how that one has holes? Mm -hmm. This one doesn't. Make your own. Ah! There's the gas store right. I totally this forgot about that. Right here. You just gotta make sure you don't cut your gas line. But you could cut right here. Lord, oh my god, I hate my life. Well, onward and upward, let's go. For the first time. All right, guys. Uh, hopefully the GoPro footage turned out. But here's how. Can you guys shut up? No. What? Can you shut up? What? Please? I'm recording. What? Tommy? Shut up. What are you doing? Ooh, that goes hard. Okay. Uh, so what we got going on back here is I removed my amp rack, which basically has uh, my amps on it. And so I removed basically all the sound wires that I could that aren't um, going up underneath all the plastics in the car. Um, so we can get those later. Uh, and then the air suspension is going to be gone here in about two or three weeks. So that'll be out of our way. So basically the trunk will just be an empty shell. So now what we're going to do is me and Jordan are going to jump up and take out the rear seats. And then we're going to take out these um, plastic trim pieces on either side. So let's do that seat put up that whole time but that's the bottom of this chair basically there's Whoa. these so so crusty. so crusty so basically um there's clips here and here so just yank up um and then on these ones here you got to push this you got to push the seat in and then pull up and then you got to make sure all these parts here are loose and then make sure the seat belts pull through it's pretty easy to pull out um, and uh, that'll go down to the parts dungeon for somebody to buy it. And now let's figure out this top section. Oh, well, then I broke my side too. Dang it, no link. Okay, I don't feel too bad anymore. <laughs> ah! Your mom. All right, let me make sure this is. The worst is the triple square. Oh the, yeah, that was recording the whole time. Yo, what up, bros? That was lit. As yeah, so uh, I totally stripped out the uh, triple square because triple squares, das motto. Um, that was right here. And uh, so I just took an angle grinder to it, turned it into a flathead, popped out the flathead, and Jordan's pulling out the seats right now as we speak. Wow. This one. Das Auto. What he is. Oh my God! Put the put the camera down real quick. Come watch this. Just the rear seat, okay? What the? F oh, oh my God! F that? Yo, this is way too heavy. That's wild, boys. Yo, if you got rear seats, take them out. Like this is like easy 80 pounds. Unless you got a baby on board, delete that. Shit. Delete that. We'll put you guys back on the gimbal. I oh, know, it's so shaky. Not shaky anymore, boys. Look at this fluid movement. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that fox over there working on his car. Sheesh. This man has been working all damn day on his fucking water pump. Gotta <laughs> take the seatbelt out right now. Nice. There's just some uh, 
Torx bits back behind a little trim piece panel. And this piece right here, which is the one that lines the door. So if you pull this, the rest is clipped, but there's two um, Torx bits behind there. And then I'll pull those out. I think right now, Jordy's pulling the seat belts, right? Oh, it's this. Cool. Alright, this one had a little bit more. It's got the light and the uh, 12 volt, so just be aware of that. Nice! This piece out, clips all around, but in this little piece right here, there's a little Torx bit. Okay. Make sure that you pull these up to not break these clips here. Careful. Now Jordan has access to the tops of the seat belts. Buys a four door car, deletes the rear seats. Oh, dust side up. Seat belt removed. Safety last. Ski box. <laughs> All right, guys. Now we are just gonna remove the ski box since I don't need it while I'm working on it. It's just gonna get in the way. Yeah, just pop that off really quick. Okay, got it. Just tension based. Egg gang, full effect. All right, now we're gonna swap over all of Jordan's wheels. That over to Jordan's car. Camber gang. Camber gang. Ooh, AMG in the Alpha looking so pretty. Beautiful night here. Oh my God. Yo. Hey yo, don't move to Utah. <laughs> Stay away. This is ugly as Sheesh. All right guys, cause why not? We're gonna do a little uh, modifying. Yo guys, actually goes kind of hard. <laughs> Just wrap, pull it off. No harm, no foul. Uh, I like it, Picasso. <laughs> All right guys, it's been a few days since you saw the last stuff that we did, taking out pretty much most of the interior. That's how it's looking right now. You know, car goes pretty hard with the new livery. Uh, I think I filmed that, I'm not sure, but it's got devil horns up on the front now and scumbag down the side. Um, I have the urge to drive it. Um, it snowed a couple of days ago, but we should be good, especially since these are Josh's winter wheels. So shouts out Josh for the winter wheels. We're good. Uh, yeah, I had the urge to go drive it and I kind of just want to make uh, a couple, like some videos for Instagram, get some photos of the spray paint livery um, just for fun because I'm bored. So we'll close out this video. I'll try to get some, my GoPro being super weird. I'm not sure if any of the footage turned out in today's, or in, in the footage of me removing stuff out of the interior. Cause man, that shit has been going whack all week. So I'm gonna try to figure that out tonight. So I don't know if I'll be able to get the best POV footage of me driving right now, but it's freaking quick. I took it to a meet, like just for like a couple of minutes um, after we tore out the interior, just to show off the spray paint. Um, God damn! It might just be because I haven't driven my car in forever that it feels so fast, but damn, holy shit. Um, but yeah, we'll take this out. Um, I'll get some footage on the main camera. All right, guys, we're on the move. Uh, my car is manual, and I don't think it's very safe to drive while filming, but I'll try to get a decent pull in. Yeah pretty bonkers. 
Um, it's kind of hard to transfer like what it feels like to the camera, but me driving this car for three years and then driving it with absolutely nothing uh, behind me in the trunk. Sorry, I got a little pain to pay attention again. Um, it's <laughs> it's pretty quick. So uh, I'm really excited that once I have, you know, kind of the sound system back in and stuff, um, but most of the interior is gonna remain out, uh, the back seats and these seats are going, so lighter seats. So hopefully it feels kind of like this. Um, I think the only dash light we have right now is me not wearing my seatbelt like a dumbass. God damn, guys, I'm sorry. Um, and then the lights for the front bumper. But other than that, the car's been, you know, holding up pretty well. I do need to fix an oil leak, um, which you guys will see in a future video, which hopefully I have a pretty easy fix for. Um, air suspension currently not functional, but oh. It might just sound faster with like no sound deadening or like anything in there, but I don't know. Goddamn, it feels it feels just a little bit a little bit lighter on her feet today, um, and it also is oh, a little bit of rubbing on the 19s. It also is 25 degrees, so nice little boost weather for us. Um, but yeah, we're gonna jump into this, jump into some cinematics real quick at the infamous gas station. Show you guys what the uh, livery looks like. Let's do it. But that is going to do it for today's video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed that little cinematic there. Um, but yeah, it's a cold night here in Utah. Next video should be mounting at least the front fenders of the wide body kit. So we'll get those started um, and then go from there. But really appreciate all the support, guys, watching the videos. Um, thank you. Really appreciate it. Uh, leave a like down below. Turn on notification bell if you want to stay up to date on the Mark 6 Golf R build. Um, but that's going to do it. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.